Welcome to the Texas Goat Radio Show. I'm your host, Matorius. This is part 29 of the 1771 live stream by Owen Benjamin, the one where you had Curtis Stone on. I would, guys, do you want the truth? I would way rather just show up at a festival, get a sack of cash, crush, and hang. Doing all of it isn't my fortitude, my forte. Uh, looking at the future, rebuilding, not getting. I would, re- that, listen to someone whenever they tell you who they are. I would rather show up at a cult fest grab a bag of cash and hang and hang <clears throat> not do anything just show up to his his uh, worship service his own personal worship service grab a bag of cash and hang now the only thing that i really kind of uh <clears throat> don't really believe too much is him wanting to hang out with his uh insubordinates because he already expressed how much he hates his own cult, his victims. He's, he has said that multiple times. Paid, all that shit. It isn't my first instinct, <laughs> but I've grown into it. And honestly, I d- doing all of it isn't my fortitude, my forte. Uh, looking at the future, rebuilding, not getting paid, all that shit. It isn't my first instinct, <laughs> but I've grown into it. And honestly, I do love it. Like the, the, the festival has been like my... F- doing all of it and not getting paid. It, it, the, the, the he talks about having gratitude but he has none because there's still there's still a big part of him who believes that he works for free that's insane greatest experience as a comedian as an artist as a father as a husband as a friend like it was like such a fucking blessing uh, but it is not my instinct it's not my instinct that people call me like the truck is late like what do we do I'm like do something. I don't like who, why are you asking me? They're like, you're literally the king. And I'm like, okay, dude. You're literally the king. Has that ever came out of somebody's mouth? I don't believe that besides his own. This is him remem- r- reminding his cult what they, what his expectations of them are to call him the literal king. <clears throat> And I'm just like, okay, Sporticus must have a story in his head for a while to spiral like that. Yeah, he's been up all, he's, I think he's on drugs. Nickel City Bear, small tip for another great stream. Keep protecting the castle, indeed. Jared Bear, holy schnizzle. I can't believe I'm on a live stream since listening to the Saranac Lake days. Crush on. Thank you, Jared Bear. Oh, and for those of you just stumbling upon us again from the conflict, app.bertariatimes.com is our social media. Unauthorized.tv is our live streaming. Bertariacampgrounds.com is our dreams. Welcome. I'm on Rumble, Telegram. That app that he's referring to, um, Jim Bob from the Made by Jim Bob show, outed him out on that because he has claimed that they created that. In reality, it is just like a faceplate, if I'm if I'm understanding it correctly. It's just a cover of somebody else's tech, of somebody else's creation. It's a service that he rents that he rents from somebody else that created it. Odyssey, BitChute, VK, uh, and then I have, like, channels that keep getting deleted everywhere. But welcome back. You're going to have a blast. It's not much, but best I can do right now. Th- I think it would be kind of something similar of getting onto Wix, creating your website, and then saying that, oh, no, yeah, I, I created this entire website. I mean, you did, but you really didn't. You know, you didn't put in the work and the, the blood, sweat, and tears of actually creating that. Somebody else created something that you could use and then you said that you you're the one that created it it i don't know i'm not tech savvy but it's not what he claims it to be and you can go to chrissy Mayer's podcast with owen benjamin it's the second one it's the one with the 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 gloriously infamous uh vince vaughn impression thanks for allowing where (laughs) jim bob from the made by jim bob show derailed the entire (laughs) interview with two questions that's all it took. Squirticus to fag out for all of us. No problem. It's very entertaining. Yeah, give Squirticus five hundred dollars and it'll help you find property on Google Maps. That's what I'm criticizing. I'm not criticizing that he's rich. I'm mocking him for having a ridiculously manipulative and fear-based business plan, and I even promoted it because I'm a retard. Like I'm, like I am. I wouldn't say thirsty for friends on the internet, but like 
I want people to be good. He is. He is thirsty for friends on the internet so that he could milk uh, their members. That's what he wants. He's like Darian Brown. He wants the 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 weakest willed, the the people that are in the the most despaired situation, a uh, desperate situation, in order to manipulate them and to accept his asinine proposal of give me your money and expect nothing. Call me literally the king. Man, I'm like yeah. Take out Squirticus. He'll help you find find land. If you really look at it, it's really fucking gay. Okay, um, you know, my bad. That's my mistake. I do that a lot. <laughs> I entered a pot. Right. Why am I doing this? Why do I got to finish reading this. I guarantee more people become bears or bear adjacents because of the gamma spirals and those who leave. A hundred percent. Like today, we just got a ton of. Uh, no, no. Denial is a powerful uh, s- symptom of humanity because it's just easier to live in that. What's the what's the old adage or the the old saying? It's easier to fool a man than to convince a man that he's been fooled. A Paris, busy town and Fox are sigmas, and you and Cod are bravos. No alpha works great for creativity, but if we all have to retreat to the Ozarks, you'll have to take control. Yeah, I can. Like I've I, I've developed skills. Like a lot of people think I'm an alpha because I can. I wouldn't say mimic it, but I can. I fooled a lot of people into thinking that I am an alpha. Is what he's saying. I can give orders, maintain relationships, be the figurehead, be the temple. Like I've learned to do it. I am the. The fact that he just says I can maintain relationships is crazy. Think of every professional relationship he has ever had. The longest standing one is is Teddy Spaghetti. That's only because they're business partners. If there's money involved, he has he has skin in the game. But if there's not, name one person. Besides Teddy Spaghetti, Theodore, Bell, or Bill, whatever his name is. Name one person that he has maintained a relationship with where there's not mutual skin in the game as far as monetary. The people that are that are still there, Coddington, Vox, uh, anybody else, they, they, they are getting paid to be his friend, to maintain that status quo. They've either given too much money in and they can't walk away, or they're literally making money off of this this cult. Alpha of Bertaria. Not not my forte, but I've literally learned. It's kind of like I've been at Delta. Like I've had to learn how to be a Delta when I was a janitor or like when I was uh working at a deli. A janitor. I've never heard him mention that before. Working in a deli. He's <laughs> Like I had to learn to like take my task as like my pleasure because there wasn't really a hierarchy. So I was like, okay, I, I'm defined now by my task completion and I can do it. Like, I- What do you mean there wasn't a hierarchy? That's how you know that he's full of crap whenever he talks about past jobs. There wasn't a hierarchy. You didn't have a boss. You didn't have a manager. You didn't have a supervisor. You didn't have a crew leader. You didn't have, there was no <laughs> hierarchy. That doesn't make any sense. I can get in the Delta mindset and really just focus on task completion. But I, I love I love being a Bravo. I love having a fucking superstar alpha, and I just hammer the the, the hierarchy into into like functional crush fest. Now listen to what he just said. I love there being a superstar alpha, and I just hammer. Now remember him saying Crowder was alpha over him, and he loved it. And then take into consideration all the things that he has said. Oh, uh, Crowder is over the last few years. It's like putting together a puzzle and the, the you zoom out and the picture is coming, coming into focus. So like a lot of deltas would view me as the alpha because I'm managing them, but I like when someone else has the overall plan. Okay. Uh, maybe it can be a situational alpha, not natural state. Yeah, yeah, totally. Like, dude, you can see it in my behavior. Like when someone becomes an expert at something that I value and respect, you will see me constantly look to them for advice. Squirticus is a situational gamma. No, he's just, he's like textbook gamma. All right. Let's go. Hello, Big Bear. Please accept this, my second donation to the Bertari Ozarks campground, a kilo of silver. Now, I do have to apologize and take responsibility for the confusion with my original donation, which meant that Bertari HQ had more work to do because of oversight of leaving my email off that donation letter. No, I got it now. Thank you for the, uh, 
Thank you for the information. We got it logged. I have it on my phone now. With that out of the way, we pivoted onto something amazing you wanted to see. You know the little kids looking at Mr. Incredible? That's a nice little sink. Um, from my understanding, Bravos manage Deltas and then get managed by Alphas like Captain. So, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, real quick. Puck Fugly. Squirticus called Jorts a gay fantasy. Turns out his gay reality was much worse. Yeah. He accused me of being gay, called me a liar, proved that I was right, he's gay, and then got mad at me for pointing that out. He, he said I made a video where I've... It's crazy. How just in two hours he has spun the narrative, spun the reality of the situation so much. He literally retracted back in his seat, acted very effeminate, while being called out for his crap. And then it's this is this is <laughs> don't believe your lying eyes, guys. Here's my eyes. I show I don't. He gets mad at me for showing that he's lying. Like, that's textbook. He got mad because he was about to play a five-minute video. He said, are you going to play the whole thing? He said, I, I I sure am. And that's what that's what upset him because that, that's logical. Why would you do that? That doesn't make any sense. Emma, like, if I say something, you're like, that isn't true. I'm not just like, oh, fuck you then. In my mind, it's true. In my mind, I'm the secret king. Nope, that's, that's exactly the whole mirror thing. The whole mirror thing. This is the Texas Goat Radio Show, and I'm your host, Victorious. As always, till next time.